Welcome to REV. We have bought an MG5 long range. Lots and lots of money, much more money than we've ever spent on the car before. But this is our kind of first thoughts about it, the impression of the car from the perspective of just a normal family. We're not electric vehicle connoisseurs. We don't know anything about cars, really. We've previously owned a Honda Jazz, and that was a, a very sad story. It got bumped into the back of it and it had to be written off. And so now we have this incredible beast of a car and uh, here are our thoughts on it. It's got much more, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so slow, this bit here. It's just so slow. Daddy, how does it feel? It feels very fancy. <laughs> I'm like a queen. <laughs> there we go, all in. All set up. What in the... It feels so different. There's so many buttons, can I press down my button? You can do it if you want, yeah, for a minute. Have you unlocked it? I think so. Let's push that. That's it. Try it out. Loud, it's going in noise. I can't, I can't cross the car. Right, we're here, we're driving. Rosie's driving. And we're going to get some thoughts from Rosie after a week of driving. So far, you basically, you're in love with the acceleration of this thing. And the lack of gears. And the lack of gears. So we have had an automatic before. And basically, we, when we, that was the one thing we missed when we had the Honda Jazz. We missed the iGo's automaticness. It was it's just so easy, isn't it? But this is even better because there's no gear it doesn't the iGo had that thing where it basically would just it would change gear still, so you still feel it change gear and have to adjust to that. But this is just zoom, it just goes. So nice. It's like a spaceship, it's amazing. Um so no gears. Mm. Acceleration. Rosie's uh of the two of us, Rosie's not quite got into the whole driving economically thing so far. Every time I go in the car, the percentage of the car just goes down like one or two percent. Every time Rosie comes back, it's gone down like twenty percent. That's not that's not quite true. You, uh, th the tr they traditionally call it. You have a heavy right th foot. It's never lost the call a girl heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say though. Your your foot is. You like to just accelerate quite a quickly. Have you got into wheel spin yet when you pulled off? No. Oh, that's Should no. I? No, no, don't oh, okay. don't do that. It's a bad thing. Ruin the time. I right, so maybe I'm maybe I'm being unfair to you. I a couple You've of done that. A couple of times when I've tried to pull away at speed, even in eco mode, you will wheel spin because yeah, it, it, the the amount of power that goes through the wheels is just it's crazy. How are you finding the uh, the regen, the curves mode, the thing that basically breaks for you? Curves mode. That's what it's called technically down here. It's for, I can't remember what it stands for. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's cool. I would say I don't feel like I'm used to it, so I feel like every time I take it off, it goes. Do you think that's fair? It's <laughs> <laughs> good impression like that. It, it's quite late, isn't it? As in, you you can leave it quite late before you hit the hit the well before you pull your foot off the accelerator. It just it's quite strong in mode three. We've basically been trying to keep it in eco and cares three around town. To be fair, on this road, it probably should be on one because you don't want it to slow you down, so I'll put it on one. What did you do? I turned the regeneration to its lowest setting so that on a fast road like this, if you pull off just to slow down, it doesn't suddenly just grind to a halt. You want it to basically coast okay. because otherwise it uses more energy to get you back up to speed again. The inside, I think, again, is, is an upgrade on cars that we've had. And again, some people would say it's not as fancy as other electric cars, but the big factor that we're not really talking about is obviously this is a lot cheaper than any other electric car that's trying to do anything like this size-wise. What about the screen and all the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto stuff? It's basic, but it's still an upgrade on what we had before. Definitely, yeah. It's probably how I would describe it. I think the screen, when, when I was kind of looking and doing research, looking at reviews, a lot of the stuff was that the, the actual screen in the sat-nav was really bad and slow and laggy. It's, it's sometimes when it starts, it's quite slow and laggy. But uh, we did try using the actual sat nav on the car, didn't we? It wasn't bad, it was fine. Um, but yeah, the the actual just plugging your phone in and having a, you've got an iPhone, I've got a Google phone. Yeah. Having your music. Having the music through there, doing all that. It's, it just works really well. So 
the screen itself is pretty low resolution, you'd say. It looks a little bit like uh, a child's tablet. I would, our kids have got some like old Kindle tablet things, and the, it looks a bit like that, the screen quality. But yeah, it's not that bad. It's, yeah, it's not that bad. It, it doesn't matter. And again, if you're upgrading from a car that has no screen, <laughs> like we were, uh, it's a huge, huge upgrade. Things that I think are not as good, Down or Got to bring it down. I would say, compared to the Honda Jazz, the uh, the sound system is it's rubbish. <laughs> it's really rubbish. The um, there's just no bass whatsoever, and so it, it just feels really lacking in weight. From a sound, I mean, it depends how much you're into these things, but it is not a good sound system. Like that's it's just not very good. Would you agree with that? It's poor. I haven't played too much around with the EQ, but. I don't think there's much you can do salvage. It just it just isn't very good. It just feels really far away. It, yeah, I mean it's quite the clarity in the high end is pretty good, but actually it just yeah it's just not very good. The other thing I think is a downgrade from the Honda Jazz. The only other thing I think the temperature and the fan system. Mm. There's no there's no like you're not setting a temperature. You've just got these uh, these kind of bars, and so you don't really know what you, you're setting. Like how cold is is the middle how, we, yeah you basically have to learn what temperature you want it on would you agree with that yeah it's not, i mean that's it's not that complicated but i would say it's not if it's quite warm so you have to have the aircon on in order to be cool the boots are huge i mean obviously the boots are much bigger than the Honda jazz the Honda jazz had this cool under mm. underneath compartment which gave it actually quite a lot of space um but the boot is much bigger which is great and Basically everything else about the car is better. I feel like Rosie's absolutely, lo me. absolutely loving the adaptive <laughs> cruise control. You won't have seen any of the other reviews for this car. It doesn't. It doesn't matter that it looks rubbish, does it? Um, does it look rubbish? Do you? What do you think? People think it's an ugly car. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Do you know? To be honest. I think it's so shiny. <laughs> that, that isn't generally what people are looking at. I like the fact that it's basically a very plain, boring looking car. Nobody notices you. As in, every time you say like... I a, couldn't deal with a statement car. No. So this suits me fine. Apps, that, and there's, that, that's okay the point, that. completely the point. This isn't like a Tesla, obviously, where every single time you see a Tesla, you're kind of drawn to it because they look really cool. Or like an Ionic 5 where you're like, that is a cool car and you just look at it. Um, you nobody's looking at this car you're driving past and and it, you, you basically don't exist which for some people that's not why they want to buy a electric car but for us we don't we didn't want something that was like look at us we just wanted one and actually having one that goes under the radar like this is great the only time people might look at you is if they hear you and they hear the electric noise and they're saying like what that doesn't look like, look like an electric car but it, i love that about it what the noise yeah the, you put away and it's like uh, the no sound, yeah, oh, it's quiet, isn't it? So cool. Any other thoughts before we finish? Best car we've ever had. It's by far the best car we've ever had, isn't it? That's a good summary. It is by far the best car we've ever had. And you kind of, you'd hope for £27,000 that that'd be the case. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to rate things on this channel, I've decided in this moment. moment. <laughs> because it's an MG5, everything is going to be rated out to five. Nice, nice. So, so far, after a week, we're going to give this how many five, how many MG5s out of five? Hang on, I've got to think. After a week? I mean, a week isn't anything. Keep... It might go way down after we go camping. Yeah, we're going camping. That, that could ruin everything. We've not done a long journey. We've not done any... We've only charged at home so far, so potentially, as things get complicated... Go on, I'll give you my score. Go on, after, after five. Three. After five. After five. After three. No, after three. <clears throat> One, two, three, five. Four point seven. Oh goodness. <laughs> You've broken the system already. We're not there's no decimals in this system. Why not? <laughs> because that's way too complicated. <laughs> okay. Do it again. <laughs> well I've just said mine. What are you saying? You Well I'd round it up to five. Well round it up to five. After a week, we are both big fans of the MG five. <laughs> We're giving it a strong five out of five. Okay. Rose. We're, we are both giving it five Rose out of five. Rose giving it four point seven out of five. <laughs> The plan with the channel from this point on is to do all sorts of tests. The plan is to keep this car for forever. We're going to keep this until it, go, until it dies. So 
hopefully 10 years plus. And part of that is doing battery testing over that time, uh, seeing how it degradates. Really, what? How the battery, have I said that wrong? I don't know, what did you say? We're going to be testing how the battery loses its what word, what maximum word did you just say? Degrada degradates. Is that not a word? I don't know, what does that mean? Degradation. Lose, so basically, oh. the, the battery will lose its maximum ability, about amount to charge over time. And so this part of this channel... Is degradates. The, I'm trying to say, I'm trying is to talk to you. Word? I hope so. I, I'm going to put it on the internet and the internet will tell us. Uh, I'll let something new today. And so the plan is to see over 10 years plus, hopefully, how the battery goes. We'll, we'll do some actual, we'll plug in the OBD thing and work all that sort of stuff. We're going to do some charging testing. The next video may well be, can you live with a granny charger? We've just got the granny charger because we're moving house. And so What's the official name? It's not, it's a, not, a, no, the official name is not the granny charger. <laughs> uh, so that's, the, that probably the next You've already video. got the electric car lingo. I've got the lingo already. You've nice. not got the lingo. We're going to do some, then we'll try and do some t uh, charging, just charging a away from home. So it, for people who don't have the ability to charge at home, we're going to see how possible that is. Uh, we're going to do Rosie's first charging experience oh on the network, on the kind of electric network out there and see if you've never read anything, done any research, can you just Absolutely rock up to a charger? Can you rock up to a charger and just do it? Is it that straightforward? Will it work? And that'll be an interesting test. And so, yeah, lots of testing. And I've even got a friend who's got a different type of electric car, so we might do some comparison stuff. Uh, so, yes, that is the point of this channel. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you, or if you're just interested in electric cars or cheap electric cars or how electric cars work over time. And uh, that'll do for this one. We'll see you soon. Bye. Goodbye.